Hello, my name is Derek Kinder, and I am a hydraulic engineer with the Risk Management Center. In this video, we are going to discuss simulated input plots in RMC RFA. So, you've worked through a simulation and have a stage frequency curve. Now what do we do? It's important to know what is impacting the shape of the stage frequency curve and what parameters have been sampled in order to get it. Out of the simulation results, this presentation will cover simulated input plots. Other sessions will demonstrate the additional simulation result viewing options. First step, where do we find these simulated input plots? Next to the frequency curve plot is the simulated input plots. When you first navigate to this tab, it is empty until you select an input parameter from the drop-down menu, which will then populate the plot. The input parameters that you can examine are volume frequency curve, volume frequency curve parameters, flood seasonality, starting stage duration, and inflow hydrographs. These plots will show us what was generated by the simulation. The first simulated input plot we will examine is the volume frequency curve. When you select this plot, you will see the user-defined volume frequency curve and the sampled curve for the first realization. As you toggle through realizations using the arrow buttons, the plot will change, showing the sampled volume frequency curve for each realization. Next is the volume frequency curve parameters. There are three options for an LP3 frequency curve, mean, standard deviation, and skew. The plots are a compilation of results over all of the realizations, so the options of toggling is grayed out. Flood seasonality compares the simulated flood seasonality with the flood seasonality analysis that was calculated based on the user inputs. When you run an expected frequency curve only or simulate median frequency curve only simulation, then there will only be one flood seasonality plot available. When you run a full uncertainty simulation, a comparison plot is available for each realization. The sampled starting stages in the format of a stage duration curve can be viewed by month for each realization. Like flood seasonality, if you run an expected or median frequency only simulation, the plot will only display one curve for each month because there is only one realization. Finally, there is a plot to compare the relative frequency of the user-specified hydrograph shapes with the sampled hydrograph shapes. In this example, the 1889 hydrograph shape was given more weight by the user, resulting in it being sampled more frequently during the simulation. This figure shows the simulated hydrograph shapes for realization number 14. Again, unless a full uncertainty is run, there is only one figure available because there is only one realization.